Hello everyone and welcome to a series that I'm now going to have to change the title of because guess what, we've got a DVD game. That's right, a DVD. That's a lot of storage space. So as usual, we've got our CDs, but I'm throwing a DVD into the mix. So hopefully, hopefully there's some good software on it. But without any further ado, let's find out. Today we're branching out into new territory because I have two DVD games. I think these will probably take a little while to install, so I'll go ahead and put that in the drive uh, so that can install in the background while we play the rest of our games. So our first DVD game is Cars, uh, Disney Pixar of course. The Disney games typically don't work very well, so I hope this one does, uh, but with that... Here is our first CD game going in, and this is Muppets. I guess this is in Italian. <laughs> well then. Muppet in, um, some other language that I don't know. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> already. Our first two discs are in languages that I don't know. That installed, like, instantly. How much? 45 megabytes? Okay. Uh, let's see what this first one is. Is this, like, Finnish? Whoa. Hello. You know, I don't think this is working. Something tells me that it's supposed to do more than this. We'll try a different one. I would assume these are supposed to work on a much older operating system, like Windows uh, 3.1 or 95. Whoa. Okay, so it is a storybook in Finnish, I think. What is this language? Uh, if anyone knows what this is, please put it down in the comments. But it appears that this section is an animated storybook. Let's try this other one. And then I'll do some troubleshooting with, with the first. I like the little noise it makes when it starts up, though. That's a cool sound. Okay, so this game does load straight from CD, so that's why A, it's taking a while to load, but B, that's why it installed literally instantly. Let's... let's try and... Oh wait! Letters! Okay, and yes, it's running off the disk. Oh! Awesome! Here we go. Nineteen ninety-five, okay. Click here <laughs> Okay. I assume that's click here to start. Whoa. Whoa, can I show that on YouTube? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, well, uh, okay. It worked okay for like 20 seconds. Goodbye, I guess. Um. <laughs> Good game. It's a good game. We're gonna try Muppet Game again, because it seemed like it was working okay, and, uh, you know, it seems like some cute little edutainment software. Horse. What, what kind of file is this? Horse.wave. Oh, it's a Macromedia projector file. So it's like... That's kind of the predecessor to Adobe Flash. Yep, that's a horse, all right. What if we just run the projector? All right. Uh, 
animal vill ha äpplen. Klick på alla äpplen med stor A eller liten A. Click. Click the letter A, maybe? I see what this is. Okay, so this is... Help in bunny me or rid the room is it? Help! Help! Oh, okay, so I I need to help the character. This is this is a funny funny language. Uh, the letter B. Okay. Do I put them in the box? Yes, I do. Okay, so nope. Get the duck out of here. This is some edutainment software. You select the things that start with that letter. And... Oh, yes, it's the Bacar. This is cute. I like this. Click på stor C och dra en linje till liten C. 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 C, 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 C. I wish I'd grown up with edutainment software like this. This is so much better than the like shitty iPad games that I played in you know first second grade. I really wish that this had been whoa, shit got real. Uh, I really wish this had been the edutainment that I grew up with, you know. Kermit needs his baseball bat. Ah, uh, yes. Anything with Kermit in it is immediately ten times better. I love the cute little Kermit animations. Pick up all the E eggs. Yeah, this is... Oh, you have to do them in the order of, like, where he's walking. I see now. Okay, so it's like an egg maze. I don't want to play too long of this one game. It would actually be easier if I filled it out like this. I don't want to spend too long on this one game, as always. But this is... this is nice. I like this. I think that means, like, end? This is probably next. Fishing... Help. Yeah, so that's the next button. It just takes a little while to respond. What is... What is this? Core? Oh, that's like, view the hint. Okay. Oh, Kermit. Yep, that's the end button. And... Might as well keep the resolution like this. This is probably like a math game. What are you? Ooh, audio file. Kermit, Piggy, and Fozzie like... Never mind. I was hoping for music. Whoa. Okay, hello. Just gonna open. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it seems to be working better now. This is indeed a, uh, like an animated storybook. And here we can go to previous and next pages. Oh, so there are, there are activities in the book. Again, I don't understand. I believe this is Finnish, but... Oh, here's all the all of the chapters. I don't understand this language, so I'm not sure what I'm really doing. But it's clear what this software is. And there's probably an English version somewhere. This is our final one. It's probably math. Well, this is one that I just don't know because I can't uh I'm going to assume it says click the red one. I don't want to disappoint Kermit. I'm disappointing Kermit. <laughs> oh. Yes. What? Oh, okay. So. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. But it's a... 
click whichever one he's holding up that's the right answer. So this is a really cute game. Definitely not shovelware. Uh, this was common in like the 90s when CD-ROM interactive software was huge. Just taking like a kid's property and putting it in like an edutainment game. And we've seen that many times. Uh, the Dora the Explorer ones are actually some of the newest examples of that whole like licensed edutainment concept. But I believe cars installed before our computer exploded. So, yep, DRM, awesome. So, that's enough of that game. And our next one, this is called Nerf Arena Blast. Now this game, this game actually seems good. I've heard about this game uh, and I believe it's like, I won't call it a knockoff, but it's definitely based on Unreal Tournament and Quake because, you know, it's definitely inspired by those huge releases that came out uh, in the late 90s. So it's made by Atari, or sorry, not made, but published and... Okay, uh... Do you want it in the in the D drive? I think it wants the disc in the D drive. But this is published by Atari. Uh, the the installer and like all of that looks a lot like the Unreal Tournament installer. So Oh, no, here we go. Whoa, what are these controls? These are the worst default controls I've ever seen. So W rotates you left. A, okay, the A and D do what they should, but S moves you forward. Can I like remap? Nope. This is, uh, okay, so it wants you to use arrow keys. This is definitely built for a much older operating system. So this is definitely like a Windows 98 game. Oh, so we're just getting right into it. Oh god, okay, uh, yeah, this is Unreal Tournament with Nerf guns. That's insane. Is there like an alt fire? Yes, there is! This is crazy. It's... Okay, I'm probably not gonna be great at this since the default controls are a little screwed up and the menu is not working properly on XP. Awesome. Oh my god, this game is amazing. So it's... The animations are actually really fluid. This is good looking. So there's no blood, there's no death. It's a good Christian video game. Just die already. Wait, I gotta see something. Yes, they look like nerf darts! You can shoot the two different types of nerf darts. That's amazing. Whoa. Okay. Uh. No way! So that's how you get different weapons? You, like, go down the slide? Okay, so... This is definitely, uh, Unreal Engine based. Is this like a rocket launcher? Yep, that's a rocket launcher. Oh my god, what is that gun? Is that like the Redeemer from Unreal Tournament but nerf? Oh. Yahoo! Oh, this is amazing. I wonder if there are more levels, or if this is the one. I wouldn't mind if this was the one level. I mean, after all, it is just a, a licensed game. Amazing. So yeah, it's like, it's very Unreal Tournament-y. It plays exactly like UT-99, 
even, you know, default controls and everything. Even the installer. So I have a feeling that maybe there's some similar code between uh, Unreal Tournament 99 and this. Holy shit, it's literally the, um, it's the Ripper from Unreal Tournament 99. That is what this gun is. There we go. So yeah, this is exactly like the guns from Unreal Tournament 99. And, damn. Never mind, you can't hold down uh, left click to load up multiple rockets. This is really awesome, though. Oh, the ball gun? And they have physics? That's really unique. I love that. Oh, okay. This is fun. I love this game. This is... This is actually my favorite game that I've played on uh, one of these videos. Like, ever. Damn. Shoot. Shoot! There's no crosshair. Uh, it would be... Damn! Bro stole my points. Is this a real nerf gun? Is the nerf shotgun a thing? Oh, yes! There's a secret area! So this is amazing. Again, there's no crosshair. So I have no damn clue where I'm aiming. The fucking BFG, the beach ball gun, is insane, and I love it. And this game is incredible, and this will definitely be one that I save and play again. Oh. Okay. Uh, looks like the menu keys aren't working, so we're gonna have to just, you know, hard quit. Nice. Okay, so we've got one of those error messages that'll just stay on the screen for the whole video. And... Yeah, we're gonna start the program again. Nope. We're gonna try starting the program again. And I'll see if... Point Blast and Training Session. And... It looks like those are your only... Your only two options? This... This is a pretty large arena, though. So, it's not a huge complaint that there aren't, like, multiple maps. Because I feel like you could get a lot of play out of just this one map. So it definitely has elements of Unreal Tournament, uh, that being, you know, the, the mechanics and the, the game feel. Wait, is there like a dodge? I'd like to try. Okay, so you have a slide in the same style that Unreal Tournament has the dodge mechanic. You double tap a key. Oh my god. Hello. So yeah, you double tap a key and you can like slide in that direction. It's not quite as fluid as the, the dodge in Unreal Tournament. Uh, but then you've got the quake element, that being the, uh, the BFG, quote-unquote. It's the ludicrously overpowered gun hidden in a secret area that's pretty damn hard to get to. I love the silly noises. They tried. They put effort into this, and that's that's the most important part about any game. The developers cared. <laughs> they wanted to make something good, and they they sure did. Oh, it looks like oh yes, alt fire of the rocket launcher shoots all three at once. This is amazing. I could play this for hours. Even though, again, I can't aim because there's not a crosshair in the middle of the screen and that is helpful in video games. Okay, we gotta move on to our next game, but this is absolutely amazing and I highly recommend Nerf Arena Blast. So, um... Okay, that's cars. That didn't work. 
Might as well go ahead and install Cars 2 and hope for different results. And this one is a Dora game, the one that I'm putting in the CD drive now. So we'll play the Dora game while, uh, while the Cars game installs. It's kind of hard to find these in English. Like, not every one can be found in my native language. <laughs> so, um, I just kind of have to hope for the best. Okay, Dora's World Adventure. We've got some pretty fire music. Some nice copyright-free tunes here. Oh, good, we've got .swf, so it's probably going to be like a 2D edutainment game, like every other Dora game that we've played has been. Dora Adventure.exe. Fuck you mean. There is. Activision? Hold up, I just... That just hit me. So, the company that brought you uh, many good games... I'm a pro gamer. Yes! Uh, I've been to China. Let's see how accurate this is. No! Okay, I don't want to go to France. These are the four countries, by the way. This is the thing that all Dora games have needed. The skip button for the long-ass cutscenes where you just listen to Dora talk for quite literally three to four minutes. Oh wait, you... You're supposed to, like, catch something. Oh, you get the rings, I see, and you don't hit the whales. Okay. Sorry, I have to keep my speakers low so that it doesn't pick up weirdly on the microphone. But it means that I don't really hear a lot of the instructions. <laughs> the water is a little weird looking. I don't like how this water looks. It's just completely static. Like the... Like, yes, there are wave effects. But you see what I mean? Like the, the blue smear background just doesn't move. Also, wait, isn't... isn't uh? Fake Crash Bandicoot? What's his name? Swiper? Isn't he supposed to be, like, the villain? Why are they just chillin'? Like... Wait, isn't... I thought Swiper was the one who just, like, wrecks Dora's shit every episode. <laughs> Already we have... This is what France is. Oh, ho, ho, baguette. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm so glad they put a skip button here. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is amazing. What is this? Walk to the Eiffel Tower? The minigame? Triangles in red. I see. I believe this is the first Dora game where there's actually been Spanish learning happening. I have no damn clue what she's saying, because the copyright-free music is just blasting at like 400 decibels in the background. The mixing on this game was done by, like, a squirrel. I'm gonna guess she said square. Yes, take me to the square land. Oh, Triangulosi Anadahas. Oops. Shut up. Again, I can't hear, like, any of this. Shut up. Bad game. Zero out of ten. Okay, so, what did it. What happened? What? What? It somehow... What the hell? This is trippy. Okay, so the Dora game somehow became a part of the 
Cars 2 installer, and when I drag it off screen, it gets all scrungly. Oh my god, I love Windows XP. This is why XP is the best operating system, because it, it gets all wacky. We're gonna play Cars 2. It's in English now for some reason. I don't see a CD check happening, so hopefully... God damn it. Ugh. 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 Mm. Disney titles. Why? Oh good, Disney doesn't use Securon anymore. I hate, I hate how Disney put DRM on their shovelware. That's about as low as you can get. Well, time for our next game. This is, um... Oh, the label rubbed off. So, it's a mystery game. Unintentional mystery game. Let's see what it is. This is... Oh, I Spy. So, this is, uh, probably another, like, digitized little physical game. I was a huge I Spy fan. Deluxe? Is there DLC? Available where software is sold. Why is it telling you this? You already bought it. Uh, we'll do the treasure hunt. Oh, they've got animations. Awesome. Amazing. Oh, hi. Oh, wow, yes. This is cool. I like this. Play this I spy riddle to earn Oh, yes, 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 yes. I spy three fours, two pine cones, a pail. No man's friend, a noose, a whale. A noose? Birds, Hold up. Skulls, two boats that are blue, and one piece of loot. Whoa. Okay. Um Hey, play this kids game. Find the noose. Can't wait to play the next Dora game where I find fentanyl. There's No Man's Friend. No I found the noose. Friend. Four birds. I love that it's not just like scans of pages. Oh, loot. I love that it's not just scans of the book pages. That's not a bird, you idiot. Oh, yes! I love that they're animated. This is really cool. I like this. Oh, bear to the bone. One skull. Two skulls. Bear to the bone. Bear to the bone. That's a big ass skull. Oh, all of the things that are of the same type wiggle when you select. Okay, that's really cool. I love this game. I know I've said this, but I wish I'd grown up with this. Oh, cool, and it turns blue. That's not a blue boat, you idiot. It turns blue down at the bottom once you select all the stuff of that, that type. Where's the other blue boat? Is there, like... Oh, there's a bird. Meow. Three birds. Okay, let's skedaddle out of here, maybe try another one. Oh, hello bird. Let's go back to like the, the center. Or not? Oh, here we are. Okay, so this is one that runs almost entirely off of the CD. Meow. Let's head back to the menu. Try our, uh, Deluxe. Whoa. I love this, this art style. You know what I mean? Like the 90s BMP photos. And the nice MIDI piano. Oh my god. 
Bad to the bone. Oh, come on. You can't have a, a spooky mansion with an orange cat. It's got to be black. Ooh. So this is cool. It's it's not quite a point-and-click adventure. Play this I spy riddle to Whoa. For the ghost That's very detailed. This is gorgeous. Three. Rhyme for a three is B, probably. I love how it's not just random words, either. Yep. That, like, they, they wrote a whole little poem here. It's pretty. Hand on the wall. Hand on the wall. Is this, like, a metaphor? Three horns. One. One horn. Crack. Donde esta? There's just a seven down here. Hand to the sun. Oh, it, it, there. It's pointing at the sun. A hand. Upside down one. Huh? Rhyme. I love how they're animated. This is... This is awesome. I know I'm gonna say this so many times, but I wish I'd grown up with this edutainment. Alright. Now, unfortunately, I'm stupid and I don't know... Oh! Well, goodbye game. I actually wanted to play that, but... Oh. What's the difference here? I'll do the fantasy. So it looks like there's a lot of content here. Hello. There's no way this is a render. This has to be some actual photo that they touched up. I like the little details, like the light that turns on when you hover your mouse or the doors that open. I'm here. Oh, hello. To open the gate and set me free. Huh. <laughs> that actually scared me. This is so cool. This is amazing. I love this. I love this. A dragon cauldron. A scroll that's rolled. Wizard. A mouse hole. Oh, hello. Thank you. Empty green bottle. A jar full of eyes. A jar full of That sounded like the uh, the notes of Seabat. Will it play the thing again if I click it? Those are the first three notes of Seabat. Okay, uh, two butterflies. Nope, scroll that's rolled, there's one. A scroll that's rolled. A wand rolled. made of gold. Who knows? Okay, point is, I, I don't want to spend too terribly long on any of these games, but this is fantastic. Wonderful edutainment, Gold. and I'm not going to say the thing again because you're probably sick of hearing it. So our next disc is... Freddy Fish 3. So is this like a shovelware game, or is this just like a mascot that didn't take off, or is this, you know, is this something else in Finnish? Alright, so this is another run straight from the CD. Six forty by four eighty, two fifty six colors. Let's go. How are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Fam Airlines, Freddy? You know, I kind of don't oh, like the way that man. Pelican looks. Gosh, Luther, it was really great. Oh, neat. So uh, the space bar just pauses the pauses the game. Your Uncle to Wait, him. options. That's cool. Alright, so that should give you a better experience. This is a slightly higher resolution. 
Yes! Yes, 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 I love I love the animation. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a kind of a similar game to the I Spy. You find certain objects. Again, it's that lovely 90s BMP art style. I see, so it's like it's kind of like a point-and-click adventure. You go through, you find the things, it's an adorable edutainment game. You need something to open the net with, probably. Oh, hello! Who are you? Silly guy. Alright, so it's a little edutainment point-and-click game. I like it! And obviously, it's, you know, obviously one and two were good enough to warrant a third. This next one is just called FOP-SS-UK. I have no clue what this could possibly be. Because that's just what the ISO was called. But someone sent this to me. Oh my god. Uh, the last Fairly Odd Parents game that I played was not very good. It's been quite literally four minutes of unskippable cutscene. I would like to play the game. It would be pretty cool if I could, like, use it. It's been five minutes now, and it looks like this might be some sort of almost gameplay that we might be approaching. Cutscenes to explain things are helpful. But five minutes of cutscene? There we go, finally! Oh my god, more cutscene. More cutscene. I don't like this sort of kid software. Here we go. We're gonna build a device here. Here we go. Good work, sweetie. This guy sucks. This cow guy is incredibly bothersome. Alright, this is not a good game. It really was not worth the wait. The mechanic of flying cow that fucks your shit up is not a good game mechanic. Bad game. This next one is another Lazy Town game. Hopefully, hopefully this is a different game than the last one, which was a little uh, mini game collection type deal. Why is my E drive before my D drive? Good question. Oh, Lazy Town Champions. So it's like Quake Champions, but with Lazy Town. <laughs> wow. Okay, there's an ad for the game we played last time. That's funny. Same developers as the last Lazy Town game. Okay, so I think this is another mini game collection, and this is the menu. It's like an interactive menu. Let's do Park Bench, the video game, level one. Memorize the dance move I show you, and then oh, it's like a rhythm game. In the correct order. Never mind, it's not a rhythm game. It's like a memory game. 
Leg clap, leg, leg clap, leg. Whoa, you remember the whole dance. Good speakers. To continue, click on your mouse. Okay, so this is self-explanatory. I, I don't think I need to play the rest of this. Uh, scooter. No, it's another healthy food game. That's lame. I want carrot. Is that just flowers? Hey, look what I found. Are you just gonna eat those? Mm. My guy was just putting gasoline on the track? What are you trying to do? Are you just gonna set this poor kid on fire? That's absolutely diabolical. Great. I feel much better now. Oh, you have like an energy bar, bottom left. There we go. Having fun is what it's all about. Wow. Okay. Let's do um guy. This is probably another like scooter game. Oh, you have to wait. For him to reach the end. That is the world's easiest maze. What is what is this game supposed to be? Like like this this game mode. I can't be too hard on this because it's kids educational software and it's made well and it functions. It's just not particularly entertaining. And if you're a child with a short attention span, like me, I couldn't see you really playing this for too long. You have so much Especially this game. Ride bike game. You've got a new trope. Uh basketball. Basketball. Oh, this is cool. Let me guess, evil guy on top of the building is going to throw like an anvil. Or a bag of water. That too. It reminds me of that NES game where you're a firefighter and you have to bounce the you have to bounce the other firefighter to the windows of the building that's on fire. Damn it. So it's the same premise as that game, essentially. I Cool. Okay. So it looks like the bounce ratio does slightly change depending on where it hits you. So that's cool. This is more engaging and more enjoyable than the previous ones. I got hit with the sun. Damn. Okay, so let's try a different one. This is cool. I like this. Wacky volleyball. Choose the initial level. So these are all, you know, uh, just a cute little children's game collection. Again, I hope this green looks okay for you. It's a little stretched for me, uh, but I, I think I fixed it. Do you click the person when the ball gets to the... What do you do in this video game? Nice. This is a weird game. Magical levitating ball.
Alright, so that's it for the Lazy Town game. It's good. I mean, well, it's not good, but it's not terrible. It's not shovelware. It's not, uh, god-awful software that no one should play. Uh, eject. Here we go. Time for our next CD game. This is one of our last. And this is... Jungle Reporter. Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, that's, that's what was on this disc last episode. I really need to be better about fully erasing the labels I put on these. So this is Magical Mystery Disc, as is our next disc that I'm putting in the drive. Because none of them have labels. Whoa. Okay, so that just started. Alright. Uh, good... Good game. Fairies of the forest. Game. Okay, so you've got an interactive storybook. Let me stretch this out for you. There we go. So you've got an interactive storybook. Nice. Let's try that again. Oh, so it's a matching game. Oh, you found a pair. So is this like an established IP? Is fairies like a thing? Because it looks like these these were just spun up in Microsoft Paint. Okay, so that's the whole game. That's what the game is. The rest of it is the interactive storybook, which is cool. I like that. Little, uh, little illustrated CD-ROM book. This neck. What? Okay. Um. So it looks like, it looks like both of those were related to the fairies game. Which is silly. So those were those were both the fairies game. So is that it? Are those all my games? I think they might be. <sighs> okay, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. As always, oh my god. As always, I love doing those, and I'm glad that people like these as well. So thank you everyone who's been watching these and supporting the channel. So thank thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this content. I've got a ton of other videos on the channel if you'd like to go check those out. But that's it for today. So thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time.